February is American Heart Month, and recently we are seeing more stroke patients that are women under the age of 35. Dr. Sean McCaffrey joins us now to talk about strokes and how to spot the warning signs. Good morning, Good Dr. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so recently, a 17-year-old Morgan McDowell in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, suffered a stroke during a basketball game. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the signs are of a stroke. You know, when you're, the big thing to look for is usually a facial change. Is something you'll see. Sometimes you'll see a drooping of the face, the corner of the mouth, the eye itself will be involved. Uh, speech is a big issue. You'll also see they'll slur speech. They can get a sudden onset of a headache just for no reason, a rapid, hard, really intense headache. Um, and then sometimes you can involve a whole side of the body. You can feel numbness or tingling into a foot, a leg, an arm, a shoulder, even a neck. Yeah. One of the big ones. Well, they, they said Morgan was at the uh, basketball game and she just collapsed, so they thought she was having problems with her knee. Right. Um, and they're also saying that it could take her as long as a year to recover. Is that yeah. difficult? Yeah. You know, it, well, it, and the key is you may not recover sometimes so any the problem you have with strokes is that they're sudden in their onset there's really two classifications there's an ischemic stroke and what they call a hemorrhagic stroke one is a blockage the other one is a tear so one that you the tear you have leaking of blood the other one you're blocking it so you don't get any blood after that and so the body the brain or whatever tissue it starts to starve it doesn't get the fluid or the food it needs the oxygen so when you when you see a collapse like that in a young girl yeah. uh, of something of that nature it's a very sudden unexpected onset the recovery period, the good news is they're able to help her and if you act fast enough. Sure. Uh, and so yeah, she should recover and get most of her function back. Yeah, we certainly hope so. Do we know if strokes happen more often to women or men? You know, it's up in the air right now. They're not real sure. Uh, for a long time they thought it would be predominantly more in one group versus the other, but we're not seeing that any longer. We're seeing as society's changed and different stresses have changed, it's really pretty equal across the board. Hmm. Now another case uh, involves a former Playboy playmate. She died of a stroke blast. Mm -hmm. The 34 year old Katie May suffered a catastrophic stroke. What does that mean? Well, a catastrophic stroke is, is a sudden onset stroke that there's just severe damage that's done after the stroke where the actual occurrence occurred. And in her case, I think it was a vertebral artery stroke at the base of the neck. Mm -hmm. Uh, where the artery either hemorrhaged or it was occluded in one way or another. And so the tissue rapidly loses all oxygen and it dies after that. And so that's one that's it's, it's life altering in that case. Um, they said that she had been previously treated for, for neck pain, a couple mm -hmm. of visits to the chiropractor. Could this be related at all? You know, in theory, it could. I guess, you know, it's probability versus possibility. Anything's probable, but is it possible? Uh, or, you know, so you look at that and say, yeah, it could in theory, but I think when I was reading about what had happened to her, she had suffered a fall of some sort. Okay. Sometimes strokes aren't always so rapid and sudden like the girl on the basketball court. Sometimes they come on slowly over a period of days mm -hmm. and then you would never know. And it just when it hits you, depending on what you're doing or what you're doing at that moment, you just don't know. I know that uh, I was reading her, her friends and family were saying that they're actually kind of blaming the chiropractor, yeah. you know, the chiropractic visits. Um, is that fair? You know, I don't think so. And, and again, you look at this, when you look at the incidence of stroke, because it can occur, it, it can definitely occur if the manipulation is too aggressive, too hard. There's many, many different ways to adjust. Uh, and if you do the hard rotary ones, which I consider to be kind of generic, if you do those type of adjustments, I think that's where you see more of your problems at. But what's interesting about it is that the CDC did a nice study several years ago with Stanford University and the American uh, Academy of Neurology looking into this and they found that the incident of stroke in the chiropractic world is about one to two per every 30 million adjustments. Mm -hmm. Now you have over 700,000 strokes a year. So one or two can occur in that field. And so you look at that and say, all right, that's really, really, really minuscule, but it is a risk that could develop. And I think your technique that you choose, your uh, exam that you run on a patient would, would kind of warn you a little bit, but sometimes you just don't know. Yeah, both, both incidents pretty sad. Yeah, it is. So thank you for being here right, and talking about this. We'll see you again on Monday. Great, thank you. <laughs> Up next, Bold and Beautiful.